Good morning, folks. Let's come over to spaceweathernews.com and my eyes see what my eyes see. Nothing but calm. Your eyes can deceive you. Don't trust them. Ah, right you are, Obi. And if you follow us on Twitter, you knew last night that a titanic explosion took place on the Earth-facing disk. Solar flaring remains low because filament eruptions do not have pre-CME flares, only afterwards and only sometimes. This filament actually destabilized a second one to the south of it as well. It sure looks like a lot of ejecta is going to the right, away from Earth, which is where the satellite looks from. But coronal particles are almost certainly headed this way as well. NASA's Enlil spiral is updated with only the first portion of the double blast, and I honestly think they've underestimated this one. Unfortunately, after eight hours of no data on the coronagraphs to track the CME, they came back almost in real time, but with all the important frames missing, as always with these big events. They will eventually be put back today, and when they are, I'll be updating quickly at spaceweathernews.com. For now, just consider a CME impact is likely for Wednesday or Thursday. Solar flaring remains low because the sunspots caught a case of the fumbles, can't sustain growth, and can't get opposite polarity umbras to crash into one another. A couple small fluctuations and otherwise calming solar wind actually set a touch of instability to Earth's shield last night, but nothing major. Well, folks, we're watching for movement beneath our feet, and yesterday, we publicly pondered if the OLR disruption in Central America was volcanically related. Well, perhaps some of it was not. That's way above average quaking for the Caymans. Also had Mount Merapi go on alert yesterday in Sumatra due to significantly increased activity. Folks, I'm going to let the top viewer locations, a North Pacific Earth Spot group, and shots of our star roll out. I'm pretty much in analysis mode today, waiting for the updated satellite data to get you that CME impact forecast. Eyes on spaceweathernews.com today for updates, and consider getting yourself a free warning system for these events and follow us on Twitter. Link is below. It's 5.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.